Hello everyone. Once again, my name is Abdusamad Yusuf. I'm from Digital Quest, and I'm going to be taking you today on how to create a fully, a fully verified Stripe account, a working fully verified Stripe account from Nigeria here or anywhere in Africa. So let's quickly get to it. The first thing you do is you go, you know, to your URL and type stripe.com as you can see here then you come here and click on the sign in button okay then this is a sign up button here click on sign up button then let me put the, put the email that you want to use And you come here, you put uh, type Estonia. We are going to be creating this fully verified Stripe account as like we are resident in Estonia then you put the password very strong password okay as you can see my password is good and uh, I'm good to go so here you create the account So it's still loading up. Now uh, it has taken me to the dashboard. Right by now, they will have sent me an email to for me to confirm my email. As you can see, verify your email. When I come here and click on verify, okay, my email is confirmed. As you can see, my email is confirmed. So. The next thing is to come over here at you, you click on activate account or you come here and click on start you know either of the two is the same so now the first thing we need to do is to tell you know stripe about our business so here you need to go to add on to google google and type random address in estonia Estonia. Okay. Yeah. Random address in Estonia. Okay, good. We've been able to get to the page here. Yeah. And uh, you will now you know check any of these addresses that you love to use. As you can see the country, all of them is Estonia, Estonia. So I'm going to make use of this Oja Street. I'm going to copy it. I will copy it for future use. And uh, I'll go to my notepad and save it. Okay. All right. So when you want to, this is Oja 82. So because you know that uh, because you know that Google is a public place where everybody can just come and type and get any address. So you have to make sure you change this. As you can see, this is Oya 82. So I'm going to make use of Oya 12 Avenue. You can hide anything just to make sure that it looks real. Then you come here and copy the postal code. The zip code here is uh, 92025. And then, no, oh, sorry. This is I'm supposed to. Okay. So the city is uh, what? 
is is to to free or something like that to free on here and paste here that's all we need then you leave this as it is because the type of business you want to create is individual business you don't need to touch this so you click on continue it's coming up now this is where you, you put in your personal details my first name to somewhat and the last name is Yusuf. So okay, let me because I'm gonna be using an ID that contains all these names. So I'm gonna be in my this is my first name, this is my other name, and this is my last name. My last name is my son name. So you come here and put your date of birth. Then you come here and put your phone number. Don't forget that this is month, this is month, this is day, and this is year. So here you put your your country phone number. As for me, I'm gonna put Nigeria. I'm from Nigeria, so I'm gonna put NG. Then I'm gonna put my my you know phone number. So this is our YouTube channel phone number nine one three seven. Eight eight six six nine four zero nine one three seven eight eight six six nine four. Then you click on continue. So this is the next page where I'm going to be where I'm going to be putting my business details. So this is the industry. You know, for the purpose of this account, I'm going to be using it for digital purposes. So I'm going to be, you know, this one is for digital purposes and digital marketing. Now, as for this business or website, business websites here, yeah, even if you don't have a business website, you, you know, you don't need to worry about that. But you can, you know, always share your Facebook, you know, page. Or your business page on, on on any social media, whether Instagram, or Twitter, or Facebook, even if you don't have a business website. But make sure that uh, after you have you know finished creating the account and your account is fully really verified, make sure you have a business website for your you know for your Stripe. It's always very very good because as time goes on, as you be, begin to build this tree on your payments history you know you know uh it will get to a stage where you will definitely need a website so even if you don't have a website don't worry you can just share your business page on social media or even if it is a you know if you are doing fiverr and you have a page there you can just copy the page link or url and put it here so and that's all so let me put digital of dot quest So the next thing uh, you are going to describe your business. As for me, I'll put digital services, digital marketing, digital and information marketing, information marketing. Then yeah. it's okay that this way. Whatever business you are doing, you know, as you can see here, the software, clothing and access fees, consulting services, retail services, you know, apps, books, whatever businesses you know you are doing, music or other media, games, blogs and reading content, you know. So whatever business you are doing, this is this one. You know, you can come here and pick any of those businesses, you know, you are doing the industry of your business, you know, and pick it. Even if you are doing e-commerce or dropshipping, just make sure you choose the right, you know, industry. Then you come here and click on continue. Make sure you leave this VAT. It's optional. Then the next thing I'm going to do is to, you know, to fill my fulfillment details. So as for my home business is within one day, 
if you are doing a business where you know that you know you are not going to you know uh you are not going to fulfill your service you know on one day just make sure you, you know you choose the right number of days or weeks for example if you are into e-commerce or drop shipping you can you know choose two weeks and uh, within one month and you make sure that you state it clearly on, on your website that the customer you know are going to be getting their product within two weeks or within one month just make sure you state it clearly on your website so that uh, you know stripe knows that uh, you are doing a very legitimate business as for this purpose i'm going to be choosing one day and continue now for the for the this one is shorting the descriptor so i can just choose digital quest okay uh this this is a customer support phone number if you have another phone number for this customer support you can put it there but as for me i'm going to be putting this continue so this is where i'm going to be putting my bank details now i have you know a, a gbp or euro accounts that i can put but uh, for the purpose of this i'm going to be putting my us details because for, for the us if for the US uh, bank details, when you put it there, there are some uh, uh, form that you need to fill, like W8 form, for your tax purposes. And because this, you know, type of uh, fully verified Stripe account, you are not going to be paying tax. So I'm going to show you how you are going to go about that. So the next thing you are going to do now is choose your currency. Choose your currency. My own currency is USD. As for you, you can, you know, decide to put your gbp or euro accounts there whatever you like to if you know uh, the banking details the currency of the banking details you love as for me i'm going to be using this and i'm using this because i want to show you one or two things that you know they might ask you if you put united states uh, bank details so here yeah, i'm going to head over to my uh to my pioneer accounts as you can see it's already opened this is my pioneer account so you come over here and click on receive then you come here and click on global payment service global payment service if you have transfer wise or any other you know you know uh, transfer wise pioneer or any other companies that are offering you you know virtual bank details USA, Euro, or GBP. You can make use of them. So I'm going to be using my USA details. As you can see, this is my account details, and this is uh, my you know, this is my routing number. So let me let me copy this. I'm going to be making use of this. Yeah, it's my routing number. And my account number, my account details, copy account details. Oh, yes, yeah, the same. So let me come back here, you know, paste my account details, come down again, and confirm. Then I'm going to click continue. So this is two step on the education. Then come here use sms and i've already put a phone number there and they're going to send me a six digit code that i'm going to use to verify yeah so they have sent me code right now five five eight five four six all right so don't click on them then continue now you have almost you're almost done with creating your accounts here under tax calculation just come here and click not right now uh, if, if you want to also contribute you can choose any of these if you want to contribute but as for me now i'm going to click 
not right now then this is uh, you know this is like a preview of all the details some breakdown i'm going to submit it make sure you preview them and see that there's no mistake in all your details and click on submit now it's taking me to the dashboard so now because i input my you know us bank details it is asking me to update my tax forms because they want to know whether i'm resident in united states or i am not resident there or i only have their bank account details so i'm going to come here yeah is the business associated with this stripe account consider the us person you said no then after that you come here and open because you, you want to sign and you want to confirm that you actually own the you know bank details and is not resident in the united states so you come here and click on now continue is coming up so here you you don't need to what to do you don't need to allow please because you don't need to allow please so you can just block it block the details you don't need to allow so block it then you come here and click on I agree to use electronic records and signatures then you come here continue now you come here copy your name as it is like this because this is first name middle name and this is your last name so you can just come here come down here this is your name you know, copy and paste oh sorry okay then you come here and certify then you come here and sign signature now i'm going to make make sure i sign correctly here now this is my signature you call me adopt and sign then you call me you, know, you already certify here you just come and click finish you can click it up down up there or you click it down here so we are not done yet as you can see that it's still showing you requested there and it's still showing this so what you do is you come down here then you click here you confirm you know you have already signed as you can see this is the form here then you come here and click on submit so after you have submitted you can see that it's accepted already as you can see now it's already accepted that you are not a resident of united states of america so you can just come to your email and check something as you can see they have they sent you you know an email before that uh action required of you that you need to provide missing us tax information on this uh, and as you can see now that it has been approved your form your form the way for this document was accepted as you can see it's been accepted it's been accepted already so you just come here you just come here and load just come here and load and uh, it will down will disappear as you can see it has disappeared you know you just now when you are done with this you can just come home come to the home dashboard and you boom you see now your account is now active this account is now active now you can go to you know products and add the product and generate payment link to give to your customer as you can see i can just come here and ebook premium sorry premium ebook premium yes 
no sorry you know premium ebook then you come here it's optional you may try not to put anything there standard pricing yeah come here and put uh, 40 dollars then one time okay so save the product come up here and save the product then you come here and create payment link then you come up here again and create link so as you can see now i can copy this link and i want to make payments you know or i can send it to any of my customer anywhere all over the world to make payments you know through this payment link as you can see so you can see that this is a stripe checkout for my you know for my stripe account as you can see this is the name of my you know business so any customer can pay with their card debit prepay card or you know credit card all over the world so that's all for that then you come back here again come back under settings click on settings here then come under account details to verify your phone number because it's very very important you must verify this phone number because if you don't verify it they will pause your payout so you come over here and do phone verification it's coming up so what you do you come over here you come and choose the phone you know uh your your country you know uh, phone pre uh, prefix like my country is ng i'm from nigeria so i'm going to click on this if you are from ghana you choose the right uh phone prefix or country then now i'm going to put you know my you know my phone number here Put uh, nine one three seven eight eight six six nine four. So they are going to send me verification code. I'm going, I'm going to put it there eight two seven zero two nine. So my phone number is verified already. So I can just come over here and reload. And I'll go and check. I'll go and check it back again to, to confirm whether my phone number is verified. It's come there. Check it. You can see my phone number is already verified. As you can see here. So I can come back to settings. Then you go to go back to business details because you need to upload your ID you can definitely upload your ID immediately you can upload your ID immediately but for this uh, for the address they might not ask you immediately the way they're asking us for this ID right now they may ask you maybe two days later and I'm going to show you how you are going to get the utility bill because it's very very important without utility bill they will, they will post your payout you might you might not be able to get your payout even after they have verified your id so let's go you come here and upload your id it's coming up so you can just come here and upload a file and if you are using your mobile phone you can choose to take a picture with your phone and uh, as for me i'm going to upload a file then you can choose any of these other driver license driver's license or identity card so as for these they accept voters registration card they also accept you know uh nihn nihn nigeria nihn premium card you know the one they accept is the one the original card it is the original card it's not the photocopy that they give from NIN service center, the original card, the original NIN premium, NIN premium card, that original one, or your voter's card, your voter's card, 
your voter's ID card. Then if you have a driver's license, they accept it. Then the best, the best ID you can use is your international passport. Of your country, whether you are from Nigeria or you're from Benin Republic or you are from Ghana, Romania, from anywhere you find yourself, anywhere you are from, they will accept your ID. They will accept any country ID here and you can choose any one of these to put your ID. So I'm going to be using my driver's license. So I've already uploaded the front of my ID. So I'm going to be uploading the back of my ID. It's telling me to try a different image. As you can see, it's me it looks good. So I'm going to click on that. And as you can see, I've already, I've already uploaded it. So it's still showing this. So let me come here and reload. Let me come here and reload. So as you can see, it's no longer there. It's showing pending verification. And in the next one hour to two hours, my ID, my identity will be verified. And this, you know, Stripe account will be verified. My ID will be verified with it. So the only thing that will remain for me to verify, as you can see that I cannot change my legal name again, my son name and my first name, I can't change it anymore because I've already submitted my ID for verification. So the next thing after, you know, as you can see, ID verification provided. So the only thing now remaining for me is this utility bill. And I'm going to wait for them until they send me email. The email, I can show you the way the email looks like. Okay, let me show you how the email looks like. Let me show you the email sent to me for my Stripe account that I opened. You know, that has been verified completely. So as you can see, if you look at this email, they, this is the email sent to me. I forwarded it from, from my other email. The identity of the pers person on your account is unverified. That's the email you sent to you after two days. But that's not what, if you come here and you read the, you know, the content of the letter of the message sent to you, they say, I, ah, Stripe was unable to verify the identity of a person Abdusamad Ali Yusuf listed on your Stripe account. Verification status for Abdusamad Ali Yusuf are. You can see personal identity is verified. As you can see, personal identity verified. After I submitted and uploaded my ID, they verified my personal identity. So they are sending this email for me to make sure that I verify my own address. So and this is where the, the real issue is. You have to make sure you verify this too. Because According to them, they say if I did not verify, it says as a reminder, if your account isn't verified by February 2022, charges appear to your bank account may be paused. So that's why you need to make sure that you verify, you verify the utility, you know, the address, and you need your utility bill. It's either you use your gas or electricity bill. So that's all for now on this. And uh, if you need, sorry, if you need, uh, if you can, if if you want that utility bill to use a premium utility bill, you know you can definitely contact me on on my you know phone number. It will be in the description. Uh, make sure you contact me on that and uh, I'm going to give it to you for a token. I'm going to give it to you for a token. And if you can also go and search for it on Google, if you can get your own, you know, Estonia uh, utility bill that you want to use, so it's all fine and good. It's all fine and good. But if you know that you cannot and you don't want to risk it, you don't want to risk, you know, Stripe closing your account. Make sure you get across to me with my phone number. Let me, I'm going to put it there 
I'm going to put the phone number on the description. I'm going to put the phone number on the description on, on, on the YouTube channel so you can easily contact me on the WhatsApp. Just make sure you WhatsApp. Please don't call, please. WhatsApp messages only. So the phone number is 0913788694. You can definitely see it on the description now. Just like I promised, I'm going to you know, leave it there. So as for now, we are done with creating a fully verified Stripe account. A fully verified Stripe account. As you can see, that's all for creating Stripe accounts. And your Stripe accounts can be used to receive money from all over the world. As you can see here, your Stripe account is active. Your, you can see your premium link is ready to share. So please make sure you subscribe to our channel. Make sure you subscribe to this Digital Upquest channel so that next time when I'm dropping another video, you are going to be the first. You are going to be among the first people you know, to see the video and you're going to benefit a lot with it just like this. Just please you know, like and comment. Hit the like button and comment and tell me how you enjoy if you, you know enjoy this video and whatever question you have that you want to you know ask for me please make sure do not hesitate to ask in the comment section i will be ready to answer your question anytime any day uh, once again my name is abdisama Yusuf. thanks and god bless you for watching the video i pray for the blessings of god in your life in my life too thank you and god bless you